गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ए ऑफ यू जी सी सी एस आई आर नेट इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सोल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन टू फाइव ऑफ मैथमेटिकल साइंसेज पेपर ऑफ दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन द जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट प्लेज अ वाइटल रोल इन यू जी सी सी एस आई आर नेट पेपर आफ्टर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियोज यू विल गेट a better understanding about problem solution aptitude it would be helpful for you after watching our videos you will be able to solve the general aptitude problems with efficiency and accuracy so keep watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our channel let's start the problem solution friends the first problem of this episode the houses of three sisters lie in the same row but the middle sister does not live in the middle house in the morning the shadow of the elder sister's house falls on the youngest sister's house what can be concluded for sure option 1 the youngest sister lives in the middle option 2 the eldest sister lives in the middle option 3 either the youngest sister or the eldest sister live in the middle option 4 the youngest sister's house lies on the east of the middle sister's house problem number 1 in this problem the houses of three sisters there are three sisters lie in the same row but middle sister does not live in the middle middle sister will never live in the middle house so i will arrange the sisters name like first sister and elder sister the middle sister is 2 the eldest sister is 3 so middle sister 2 will not live in the middle house in the morning the shadow of the eldest sister's house fall on the youngest sister's house the shadow of the eldest sister's house will fall on the youngest sister's house so if eldest sister 3 is here then the youngest sister's house will be here because at sun rises from east this is the condition but middle sister will never live in the middle house there are two conditions in both conditions the shadow of eldest sister's house falls on the youngest sister's house but the first condition is this that middle sister lives in the eastmost house or in other condition the middle sister lives on the westmost house now we have two conditions which satisfies the given conditions of this problem now let's consider these options read the first option the youngest sister lives in the middle house youngest sister question is asking what can be concluded exactly from the given data youngest sister lives in the middle house youngest sister is one she lives in middle house it may be or may not be only one condition satisfy the first option read the next option the eldest sister lives in the middle house in the second condition eldest sister lives in the middle house so it may not be also you are correct answer option 3 either the youngest sister or eldest sister lives in the middle house yes either the youngest sister or eldest sister lives in the middle house that's correct conclusion option 3 is the correct answer of this problem option 4 youngest sister's house lies on the east of the middle sister's house here youngest sister's house is on east of the middle sister's house youngest sister is here middle sister is here but this is for only one condition the other condition violate it so this may also not be our answer so the correct answer is option 3 problem number 
a woman starts shopping with rupees x and y paise spends rupees 3.50 and is left with rupees 2y and 2x paise the amount she started with is option 1 rupees 48.24 option 2 rupees 28.64 option 3 rupees 32.14 option 4 Rupees twenty three point four two. Friends, here is our next problem. Problem number two. In this problem, a woman starts shopping with X rupees and Y paise. Then she spent three point five zero rupees and is left with rupees two Y and two X paise. Now, there are given four options. We will check that with which option. we can satisfy those conditions in this exam multiple choice questions you will have to find out the correct answer no matter how you got the answer so let's start from the first option it is here 48 24 so she started with 48 24 but subtract 3.50 from it what will you get it is now 74 41 but that's not the relation that x multiply with 2 and get the paisa value it is here 74 or y value that is paisa value multiply with 2 and get the rupees value 24 multiply with 2 you will have to get 48 so the option 1 is not the correct answer of this problem Check it for option two. Option two, it is twenty-eight point sixty-four. That is twenty-eight point sixty-four. Subtract three point five zero out of the given value. This is now one four point twenty-five. Here it is twenty-eight multiply with the two. Then here must be fifty-six. But this value is not satisfying. the given condition 64 multiply with 2 that must be here 128 but that's not here so option 2 is also may not be the correct answer of this problem take the option 3 this is 32.14 so take it 32.14 then subtract 3.50 what will you get 64. 28 so the paisa value multiply with 2 you will get 28 in the rupees value and 32 that is rupees value here multiply with 2 you will get 64 this option option 3 is satisfying the given condition the correct answer of this problem is option 3 rupees 32.14 third problem a mine supplies 10000 tons of copper ore containing an average of 1.5 weight percent copper to a smelter every day the smelter extracts 80% of the copper from the ore on the same day what is the production of copper in tons per day option 1 80 option 2 12 option 3 120 option 4 150 Friends here is the next problem of this episode problem number 3 a mine supplies 10000 tons of copper or it supplies 10000 tons of copper ore every day then percentage weight of the copper in this ore is 1.5% weight so you can multiply it with 1.5% to get the copper value in this complete ore that is now 100 multiply with 1.5 you will get 150 tons of copper in that ore the smelter extracts 80% of copper from the ore on the same day so 80% of this complete copper will be calculated and you will get the value 120 tons of production from smelter every day so 
correct answer of this problem is here option 3 120 problem number 4 wheat production of a country over a number of years is shown in a form of bar chart which year recorded highest percentage reduction in the production over the previous year option 1 2001 option 2 2002 option 3 2003 option 4 2004 friends here is the next problem problem number 4 in this problem a bar chart is given which is showing the production of a country over number of years from 2000 to 2004 here it is in metric turn 50 here 45 here 40 here 35 here 30 here so you see there is reduction of production everywhere same with respect to the previous year it is minus 5 everywhere here also minus 5 here also minus 5 here also minus 5 so the reduction per year with respect to the previous year is same if we want to calculate the percentage reduction of production then question is asking read it which year recorded the highest percentage reduction production the percentage reduction will be calculated like here it is for year 2001 you calculate it for 50 minus 45 upon 50 in percentage you will get it like 5 upon 50 multiply with 100 this is in percentage now and then for the following years for 2002 the percentage will be calculated on the production of 2001 that is 45 here so 5 upon 45 multiply with 100 for 2003 it is the percentage will be calculated on the production of previous year 2002 so 5 that is reduction upon 40 the production of 2002 multiply with 100 for 2004 it is 5 that is reduction 5 upon the previous year's production that is 35 multiply with 100 now we simplify these values you will get 1 upon 10 in percentage 1 upon 9 in percentage 1 upon 8 in percentage 1 upon 7 in percentage is 10 here is 9 here is 8 here is 7 which is the maximum value the highest percentage is asked the highest percentage value is here 1 by 7 multiply with 100 that is nearly to 14 percent you can easily calculate these values also that is 10 percent that is 11 percent this is 12.5 percent so the maximum value maximum percentage is for year 2004 that's our answer the correct answer of this problem is option 4 2004 problem number 5 in this problem there is a sequence of figures three figures are given we will have to find out fourth unknown figure from the given four options friends here is the last problem of this episode problem number 5 in this problem a sequence of patterns in given this problem there are three figures and we will have to find out the fourth figure from the given four options what is the next pattern in given sequence so first see the relation between the figures 1 and 2 here in the figure first there are two circles one inside other and outside it is a small triangle here in the second figure the triangle here which was outside comes to inside and and the circle here which was inside comes outside and the middle figure that is here the outer figure circle is same as so on in the first figure now 
for the answer figure what we will do the triangle inside will go to outside and the square here will go inside so what will be the answer figure in answer figure the arrow here will be the same the triangle the outer triangle will be the same the square will go inside and the triangle will go outside search out the four options the third option is matching with our prediction so the correct answer of this problem is option 3 you can download the pdf of this paper from the google drive link given in the description box below keep practicing thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends please subscribe this channel and don't forget to tap on the bell icon so that you can get notifications thank you